All right, I've had a few requests for you from you, the viewers, to show more on how to find leaks or how to fix and repair leaks. It's really windy. I've got my little dead cat on here. So I hope you can hear this. It's a live take, not scripted. The owner let me into the house. He's got a leak right in between the two windows up on the roof. So typically, first thing I do is look to see what's up there. Most leaks are caused right by a chimney, a pipe boot, a valley, something that's either done wrong or takes a little time to go wrong. In this case, it's an open field. I'll run up there and show you what I found. Definitely any day, strap your ladder, but a windy day, you want to have a ladder down on, so don't forget to do that. So when I first got up here, I noticed somebody had already been here at some point, done some caulking over in the past. But if there's no pipe, nothing in the area, what I'll look for at that point is drip grooves. Make sure the pattern is correct, make sure they don't have nails in the area, obvious wind damage, anything as such. A leak that may be coming in down here could come in anywhere up above and run down before it drops off, so keep that in mind. But looking further in this area, I just kind of found where it was leaking down below the height from over there and it put me right here at this spot there's definitely a hole to the shingles that looks like a, a framing nail either an 8 or a 16 from decking nails it's popped it's broken through the shingle it's been going on for a while and broke through causing this to leak water's running down and just dripping in it's not a crazy leak but it is spotted the ceiling and he now has paint blistering and some spots up there happening so if you get it fixed soon you can probably get by with just some kills upshot uh, with this case because i'm here and instead of trying to figure an estimate i just sh figured i'd shoot a video for you guys i'm gonna just in a pinch use a flat bar to pop this free take a piece of flashing aluminum flashing shove it under over this hole and up a little ways put some sealer in and spot this so it's sealed with a piece of aluminum under it the proper fix yes all you guys out there that want to say that ah, ain't the right way flat bar the shingle out put a new shingle in spot seal it all up but in a pinch i'm doing this as a freebie for the guy to stop him for any more potential rain coming in tonight not charging for it so and the owner said he was okay with it basically i got the stuff to do it right here make this a real quick video do this one-handed just pop that seal strip free. You're gonna wanna make sure you can get up under there with a piece of aluminum. Maybe push that down, pound it down a little bit. And this is essentially gonna go in there like that. And so this doesn't move, I will spot some black stuff in there. Shove it up so you don't see it. Hopefully I got that in, in view. Okay. Just putting a couple of dabs in here so one the shingle will stick back down seal back down there's a nail spot there it's not gonna be the prettiest I know yes there's a proper way to do it but again doing it as a freebie the guy said sure do it but that's what I do to find leaks typically when you go up on a roof you're gonna see most of the time things are done wrong or it's done wrong to the point where it doesn't leak right away. It takes a little while for say caulking or something to fail. But that's the general premise of what to do. Find your leak inside, figure out where it is. Use the exterior window to find out when you get outside the section you're looking at. Then look up for the obvious and then start looking into other things. Nail pops, drip grooves, wind damage, anything of that such. I hope this helps you find out your leak if you have one. Hopefully you get it taken care of and appreciate you watching. Consider subscribing. And as always, until next time, be safe and see you then.